Hi, this is Tim. In this tutorial, I will show you how to import data from Salesforce into Loquate Insight. First, go ahead and select the New Resource tab, and I'll select Salesforce CRM. If you've previously created a Salesforce resource, your credentials will be stored. If not, you can request a security token by clicking on the Setup link at the Salesforce webpage. Once I press Login, I'll have access to the list of tables uh, that I have specific permission to access. Um, depending on your permissions and depending on the subscription level, you may have more or less tables. In this case, I want to select both the contacts and the accounts. I'll select the uh, contact first. Um, with assigning the fields, we pre-assigned fields based on the default view. So not every field will be pre-checked. Uh, in this case, you may want to make some changes. I will want a mobile phone as well. I'll click finish and go ahead and create another resource for the accounts. Again I choose Salesforce CRM, accept the default credentials, select account, select next, and I'll go with the default view. Once I press OK the data is live and I'll be able to hover over any account or any contact that I have in Salesforce and bring up their contact information. So here I can put up the gene point information as well as information for Edna. One of the nice things about Insight is the ability to update the card or the pop-up and have it propagate back to the server. In this case I can change Edna's number to 9995999 and press enter. You'll notice in the pop-up there are three links. The first link is for Edna's page on Salesforce, the second is for the account, and the last is for the owner of the account. I'll go ahead and click on Edna Frank, and I'll verify that the changes have been made. Uh, in this case, I have to log into Salesforce, so the login for the pop-up is separate from your regular login. Here I can verify that indeed the number has changed. That's the power of Insight.